back again this time with the get to know me in 25 questions tag i was tagged by fred over at red by fred and i'll have his uh, channel linked in my description the creator of the tag was maza booktuber i hope i'm pronouncing that correctly i'll have his channel linked in my description as well so there are 25 questions but i did leave out a couple of them which i felt were a little bit too I don't know, not necessarily personal, but just things I wouldn't be comfortable answering in like a public forum. So, so maybe it's 23 questions for me. <laughs> so the first one is what's your channel about? Well, books, obviously, but more specifically, I read at least a little bit from all genres, except for self-help. I really don't care for self-help at all, but my favorite genre is science fiction, followed up pretty closely by Actually, you know, I was getting ready to say like classics and fantasy, but actually horror has really jumped up on my list. As it turns out, I, I like quite a bit of it. So that I think that might be my second favorite genre now. We'll see. How old are you? Well, I am 46 years old, but I will be 47 in about three weeks. What is your occupation? I am a certified medication aide and I work in a very small, privately owned, nonprofit long-term care facility, which I really, really like a lot. Uh, I also take on private care clients where I go to their home and take care of people in their homes. Uh, where do you live? Where are you from? I am from the United States and I was born in Kansas and mostly raised in Kansas and I still live here. Now there is an exception when I was younger my dad was in the Navy so we moved around quite a bit when I was in elementary school. I lived all up and down the East Coast. Looking back what would you have told your 10 year old self? <laughs> it'll get better eventually. <laughs> uh, what is your favorite holiday? Mine is Halloween. I absolutely love Halloween. It's the one holiday of the year that I absolutely won't work. I'm just not working on Halloween ever. I really like dressing up in costumes. I like grilling outside. You have no budget. What is your dream vacation? So there is this like little vacation lodge on the border of Kansas and Missouri, and it's called Cedar Crest Lodge. And they have beautiful rooms and gourmet meals and wonderful snacks that you can order and everything with lots of things like massages and aromatherapies and all these different kinds of things. And I would absolutely love to go there by myself with like a suitcase full of books and spend seven days just like lounging around, walking the premises. They have like a wooded area nearby that you can walk in and just read and get massages and just relax by myself. I That just sounds like absolute heaven to me. I'm going to do that one of these days. Uh, name your biggest pet peeve. My biggest pet peeve is lying. I do not like lying at all. In anybody who is close to me, who is a friend or a family member, I don't want to be lied to, period. I'm not going to lie to them and I expect them to not lie to me. What book changed your life? Well, I don't know that any book actually changed my life, but I will say that there have been books that I have sort of learned life lessons from sort of by accident. What simple invention improved the world? Well, there are a lot of answers to this. I chose the compass for this question because it was an important invention, but there's just something about being lost in the world and having something to guide you home that really appeals to me about a compass. So that's what I chose. Favorite movies and TV shows? Um, well, uh, the best TV show ever made, in my opinion, is Star Trek The Next Generation. I am a huge Star Trek fan and mostly TNG. <laughs> Absolutely love it. But my current favorite is Heartstopper. There's only one season of it out. It came out in May and I've watched it like 20 times. <laughs> it's so good. I absolutely loved it. Describe yourself using three fictional characters. This one I had to think about for quite a while before I could decide what characters would be a general representation of me. And I came up with Elizabeth Bennett from Pride and Prejudice, uh, Clumsy Smurf. I'm probably 90% Clumsy Smurf. <laughs> and Donnie Darko from the movie Donnie Darko. What is your dream job? I actually don't know. I, to be honest, I never could decide what I wanted to be when I grow up and I still have no idea. But if I could choose, it would have to be something where I could be my own boss, where I could work any hours I wanted to, where I didn't have to deal with the public or very many people in person anyway, and also where I could be semi-creative. If magic was real, what spell would you learn first? I would definitely choose invisibility because it would be great if I could go outside and just like roam around window shopping and going through parks and things without anybody knowing I'm there. That would be super fantastic. 
What is your favorite social media platform and why? Well, YouTube is my favorite social media platform because I can sort of either watch it from afar or actively participate at will. And I really, really enjoy that. And it just feels a lot more sort of anonymous and uh, less invasive than all the other social media platforms. If you could pick any character in a book, who would you spend the day with? My answer to that is Colonel Brandon from uh, Sense and Sensibility, because ever since I read that book in my 20s, I've kind of had a crush on Colonel Brandon. And I sort of look for his sort of honorable, quiet personality traits in any man that I would be interested in dating. What old person thing you do? Okay, so that has to be wearing sweaters. I wear sweaters all the time. Uh, I don't ever wear them in my booktube videos, but normally I do. I wear a sweater when I'm at work and I wear a sweater when I'm at home. <laughs> Maybe not during, so much during the summer, but the rest of the year I do. I also, when I've been sitting in one position for too long, I start to get kind of stiff and I'll groan when I stand up or move. And that's just so old person. <laughs> Oh, well, let's see. Do you have a hidden talent? Not that I know of. Maybe I do and it's hidden from me as well. <laughs> I don't know. Where do you see yourself in five years? I have no idea, but I hope I'm living in Lawrence by then. Share an item and tell us its significance. Okay, so I'm actually going to enjoy telling you guys about this. So this is Monkey Chi. She was a gift from, I think, my grandfather on my mother's side when I was three years old. And I slept with her until I was 12. <laughs> and when I was 12, I decided that I was too old to sleep with a stuffed animal. And so I stopped sleeping with her. And so she has she slept on my headboard after that. Uh, and still to this day, I always have her set up in my bedroom somewhere on a shelf or wherever uh, in my room somewhere. And then when I make my bed, I put her in the middle of the bed so that she can watch over me. Okay, and finally tag some people. So I chose some people that um, I subscribe to, but I don't really know too much about them. Some of them are newer subscriptions for me. The first person is Crystal over at Fiber Artsy, Jeremy at Jeremy Fee, Jim at Jim Reads Too Slowly, Sandy at Ms. Reads A Lot, Becca at Read Becca, Vin at Revenant Reads, Matt at Science Fiction Reads, and Malcolm at Wormberg Malcolm. These are all channels that I enjoy and watch regularly, and I don't know that much about them, so I would love to see if all of them answer these questions. Okay, so I guess that's it for the Get to Know Me in 25 questions, and I'll call that the end of the video.